Welcome to Love Them Knives. We're doing a batch test here, small batch, uh, five knives, right? Um, interesting knives, though. Uh, well, this is Molesec. This is the Orbit. So this is different. I mean, this is kind of a new knife on the scene. And this is 14C28N. I'm going, is it really? And all that kind of stuff. And here's the jabs. Now, I didn't care if this one got jabbed and it's visible. I did care on my Bel Air if it got jabbed and it's visible. So I did, uh, I took it apart, which, oh my God. It, okay, do I even need to talk about it? When you have an access lock and you have just a two piece, right? This screw and then this and the pivot tube are connected. And so basically when you build the knife back, you can't put this outside scale on here. But you got to put that tube in there because you got to build the knife. And then you have to push the pivot back out, put the final scale on, and push the pivot all the way back through. It's the way it's set up. It's not like the clutch lock where you have a three-piece pivot. So you've got the pivot tube. You can build the knife, and you can put the screws on the sides. Okay? If you've ever done this, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you probably don't. But, I mean, you know the manufacturer's got a piece that's the same size as the pivot tube that they're using when they're assembling the knives, right? They're putting it on, they're building the knife, then they have the thing they insert from this end so they can push this tube out, and then they put the final scale, and boom, and then it's together, and it's not a problem. But since I don't have whatever their manufacturing little fid is, then it, it makes it fiddly right okay butter fork knives and they don't they don't really they never gave me the the uh formula or the elemental on this they talk about their catra testing their knives are very sharp and they're thin behind the edge and they are i think made to where they're going to perform pretty well um and then you can of course always sharpen them because they're not serrated and so that makes it pretty easy now their catra testing that they show on their website performed very well so with the standardized catra testing with cards impregnated with whatever it was and you know just a controlled scientific thing they did perform well okay so i thought i'm gonna send it in i'm gonna get the rockwell and i'm gonna get the elementals okay because i don't know what it is obviously it's not a super steel but it's a user steel but it's something so what is it uh and then the mole sect orbit which is a new kind of, uh, or a new, you know, mole sec. They're just kind of new on the market. Thought that 14C, let's check it out. The Guardian Eagle was sent by a viewer who bought it off of Amazon and said, I don't think this is D2. I think this is probably 440. And not because, like, he tried to sharpen it and it seemed too soft or whatever. It's just that he was doubtful that it was really D2. So he sent it to me. And I go, I'll send it in with mine. And then, of course, the SF2, uh, the ARSF2 steel, which is CJRB, which is different than their ARRPM9, okay? Their ARRPM9 is more like a glorified 9CR. And this, is it more like, which some people have been talking about, like even Tri-City did some cutting with it, and I had a guy cut with it. And say, is this more, I mean, because I was looking it up on charts, I'm going, it looks kind of more like it would be a 154 CM or more of a kind of a, not not a pow, true powder metal metallurgy, but a spray form type metallurgy, which would be better than just 154 CM. It'd be a better spread of ingredients more closely aligned with a powder metallurgy kind of thing so what are we getting here and so i did have it cut tested as well i don't have i had i had this hector then i had a pyrite both of them in the sf2 so i sent the pyrite out to my buddy gerald uh uh outpost 76 God, just like Gerald, Outpost 76, and he's done cutting 
you know, performance testing for years now, right? So I had him take the other one, and I don't have that back yet, but I'm going to tell you what my, you know, my stats are from this as well. And then, of course, like, like I said, the Kershaw, the Magna Cut, all that. So let's just go through this. It never ends up being quick, does it? Okay, now here's the thing. On this knife, I didn't want it out on this blade. And you can't because you don't have a flat spot on this. It may look flat, but this is sloped ever so slightly all the way down. That affects your readout. But you can see the handle is flat. And so, yes, I took the handle off because, you know, they got special tool. If you never saw my video where, whoosh, and you can unscrew this, you can pull the whole handle out, and you can change handles, different colors, all that kind of stuff. You can do this. And it says butter fork knives, okay? Which so far, they're performing very nicely. I'll do a follow-up later after I've had some weeks and months to just put them to the test, right? Um, and so here is the picture. So it got popped, okay? Just want to prove to you, even though you just don't see the divots, that they actually got tested. And then, of course, on my Kershaw, I took that apart, and this is where they hit it, here and here, okay? On the Bel Air, and on our little Guardian Eagle. Uh, unfortunately, the viewer didn't know that, hey, I don't, I don't want a coated blade. Okay, that, that gives you, that doesn't give you accurate readings on anything, PMI or HRC, right? So, uh, I had him, you know, grind off a spot and hit it then, okay? So, there's our Guardian Eagle deal. Uh, all right, now, let's get to the results of our greatest Hollywood hits here, uh, <laughs> and uh, let's start with the Hector. So what is this ARSF2 stuff? And you know what? Yeah, there's your vanadium. Okay, so the thing is 154 cm. Look at that. And you tell me, is there vanadium in it? No. No, there's not vanadium in it. No. But this has got 1.21 of vanadium. So it's different. Then so I'm saying this is similar and they're going right here. 154 cm or similar. So it kind of, if it's going to read anything it's going to read closer to a 154 cm but that was his best de guess it was it's a 154 or similar except for this and so how does this I th I have to read through this again and I will when I edit this video and I'll put something down here if I, I'm getting this wrong but I believe there's no vanadium shown in the recipe for 154 cm okay or cpm 154 but if you've got if this is going to be spray form stuff then it is a more refined than just the regular 154 cm so it'd be closer to maybe a cpm 154 will it perform like this let's talk about that okay it hit a 59 now when i talked to outpost 76 because he said well what did it hit for rockwell and i said 59 he goes i'm kind of surprised that it's not harder than that because it seemed harder than that. I mean, he had to resharpen it. He takes a factory edge, he runs it. He sharpens it, he does another. He sharpens it again, then he runs another. And then he resharpens it to send it back to me. So I always get a freshly sharpened knife, which is great. Good deal. Hey, Gerald, you, I got a bunch more knives I'll let you test. <laughs> as long as they come back with a beautifully sharpened edge. It's like, you playing me, dude? Are you playing me? Um, so, I'm just saying. And so, if you're interested in this, I will, I will show you what Outpost 76 said. Uh, he said, I, my third test, his first test was kind of funky. But, I mean, then he tested the second time and the third time. Okay? And so... He said test two was 114 of fine, 66 of working. So total overall is 180. Now I've seen M390 that can't do 180 feet. 
right? I mean, here and there, we've all seen the loveliness of sometimes M390 just doesn't perform as advertised because it's just, uh, it's in the heat treat, baby. It really is. Okay, so test three. Wow, really close, 186 feet total okay so he goes test two test three okay so that lines up now i'm saying that this is pretty good performance for a non-super steel and so he says i'm gonna see um if i have tomorrow to finish a video about the test and then i'll get back to you okay so but i did say say earlier in our conversation i go so so you're saying that that the sf2 steel performs better than the ar rpm 9 and that it performs very similar to like a, a 154 cm or a cpm 154 and he said yes and yes it performs better than ar rpm 9 from what he experienced doing his cutting tests okay that's all I'm saying. I mean, I don't have any experience with it. I've got this one, but this one was a way for testing, right? So I didn't have a chance to use it. And then I sent the other one to Gerald. So I didn't have a chance to use it. So I guess now is my chance to use it. Now that I got the Hector back and bank, bank, and there it is. But it's a 59. Is so, okay. I mean, I you know, 59's not out of the park for uh, 154 CM anyhow, or CPM 154. So, okay, we're good. We're good. I mean, just saying. Okay, now let's get to the next one, the Guardian Eagle. And this is my, our Amazon knife here. All right, and it's a liner lock, and it's got a nice little drop to it. Of course, it's been apart and back together, right? And so, here it is. And so he's saying, no, I don't think it's D2, but I already told him, yeah, it is D2. And it's a 60.1, 60, 60 let's just call it 60, right? But so he was pleasantly surprised that it's a 60. And then here's your breakout. You know, you can have vanadium anywhere from a 0.3 to a 1.0, you know? And then your chromium's usually around like 11.8 to 12 point something. So because they call it a 12% tool steel or whatever. So here's your stuff, okay? So yeah, that's D2. Is D2 and it's at a 60. Okay, are we good? Now, the mole sect. Everybody wants to call it mole select. I don't know. This is, this is tricky. Mole sect is 14C28. And, and this is the orbit, okay? This is what they call the model here is the orbit. And it's it's nice. It's got a nice drop. It's front flipper. It's cool. I had the jungle too. And then um, I've just recently got another one that I, that I put. I, I don't know if I posted the video yet on it. Maybe I have. But don't know if it's actually going to get made. Those are just... Uh, yeah, those are just uh, prototypes. Um, but this one, here's the here's the elementals. And, you know, it's a 59. Let's just call it a 59, 58.9. Hell with it. Okay, 59 on the uh, 14C. And, yeah, it is 14C. And you know what? Um, okay. I, I, that's okay. That's fine. I don't know its cutting performance or anything, but I know that the hardness is adequate. Um and uh you know and and then the stuff adds up so okay it's good the butter fork knife this is interesting because it does have some vanadium in it isn't it there's your chromium so it's almost an 18 percent, which would be in the 440 kind of range but also it could be a 8 cr 8 cr well, yeah, I mean, no, it could be a 9CR18 because CR18 would be 9CR18, whatever, could be that. But apparently he thinks it's in the 440C or similar range. Okay, so the butter fork knives, no, they're not Magna Cut. They never said they were. And apparently the heat treat must be pretty decent on them. And they're at a 59, which is 
pretty solid for 440 ish steels you know and if you look in um you know knife steel nerds or uh you know that kind of thing or you look at some of the charts or type in you know 440 c steel is similar to and look at your results there's a lot of steels kind of not far off of that I and mean, there's just a lot of steels that are like os8 uh you know vg10 blah 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 a bunch of different user steels that are very very similar in nature but okay so it is what it is it's a 59 and it is a 440 ish or similar steel okay magna cut how are we doing with kershaw and by the way oh yeah here's the butter fork so i took the least likely blade that my wife would miss right i didn't i'll take the cleaver away from her <laughs> let her have the rest of them you know i use the smallest one that i have on my video i use that smallest one because i use it as a steak knife or just general cutting tasks around the kitchen it's weird okay so it's always the smallest one it seems like bel air magna cut okay so there's your vanadium almost five percent vanadium yes yes it's a super steel 11% chromium, which I always thought, well, Magna Cut, it's not going to be a salt series knife, right? Because it's not even 12%. It's not even a stainless. It's a semi stainless at best, right? But you know what? When they austenize it, for some reason, it's, it's very corrosion resistant, which I think kind of surprised Laren as well. Laren Thomas, who developed the seal. Okay, so here's all your stuff yes it's magna cut and you know what it tested bang bang 63.2 you know i think that magna cut i don't know what it is about that steel but it seems to be very controllable even in large production batches that's what i think i don't know why i don't know what it is about this i know that m390 is all over the place but and and so therefore it's really finicky and it's difficult to really control this seems to me to be much more stable and reliable and reason is it's because i've tested best tech and i know best tech kind of struggled with the m390 a little bit too i think everybody has actually and yet best tech on their magna cut was bang 63.5 63.5 three different knives that they oem for other people in magna cut boom 63.5 like psh, like they were in the same damn batch and you know they weren't right so i don't know but this is 63.2 it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing it really is <sighs> that's my wrap up guys I'm, I'm glad i went to all this trouble to do this for you and I'll try not to do another one very soon at all. Man, what a what a pain in the posterior. Not to count, not counting how much it costs my Visa card. Okay. Well, I know you guys appreciate it though. Hopefully. Gotta pray. Uh, and thank you so much. And you guys, stay sharp. <laughs>